It's cold outside, so why not stay inside and warm up with some unique cocktails? Tim Hasserud is what we call a liquid chef. <laughs> She's author of 101 Shots and 101 Martinis. You are still standing. I know, Man. I know, I know. Well, I am really excited to guys show you guys some great apres ski cocktails. We're putting on the apres ski cocktail classic, March 13th to the 16th. And Aspen Snowmass. Do you know These what that some... means, Apres Ski? I've <laughs> recently. You know, it's, it's, the, uh, it's, the, uh, it's the time of window when you get off the slopes and before dinner, so you just want to sit down okay. and like, have a great cocktail. I thought I had a bunch of really <laughs> snotty friends when they're like, what are you doing for Apres Ski? I'm like, uh, uh, right. I, I don't know. I would like a beer after we ski. So uh, this one is uh, kind of a great breakfast of champions. So this is a bacon, eggs, and French toast martini. Oh, fantastic. So I made it with Sailor Jerry spiced rum, some egg, a local maple syrup. Uh, and I, you can actually infuse this with bacon, but I didn't know if there were any vegetarians here, so I didn't do that. Well, you're, so. you're awfully nice. <laughs> so there's a vegan version yeah. of it. Yeah. Right, right. So when I, okay. I really, I don't know. I don't make. know about bacon-flavored oh, drinks. It's very, very... So is that tasty. actually yeah. nutmeg? It's nutmeg actually nutmeg nut on form? top. Right. I've never seen that before. It smells like eggnog. Yes. It's, it's yeah. kind of a version of that. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. What so is this, that? This next one is kind of an adult hot chocolate. So I made hot chocolate, a really rich hot chocolate, chilled it. And I made it with Hudson Rye whiskey and Tempest Fugit dark cream to cocoa. So it's got a really silky mouthfeel. And the Hudson Rye whiskey actually adds kind of a nice sort of breadiness to it, mm -hmm. like a chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. And then I torch these marshmallows. Ooh. Wow. How yeah. hammered do you get when you're making oh, up these recipes? Oh, you know, I actually, actually, a lot of it ends up going down the drain, unfortunately. Yeah, do you have to taste yeah. test all of them? <laughs> My husband the does. The chocolate looks My husband good. Does. Lucky guy. Yeah. So this next one is the half pipe, mm -hmm. uh, and it's made with a honey water, fresh lemon, simple syrup, and a little bit of aviation gin. Aviation gin is not as, like, peppery and spicy. It's kind of like oh. a walk through a forest. You get a lot of citrus and floral notes. Why is it called aviation? Aviation is named after the cocktail, the aviation. Like. Oh. It's like the perfect gin for the aviation. A walk through the forest. Yep. And this last one, finally, is the Cold Snap Cosmo. And it actually comes, you might need a mitten for this one. But it's oh. made with Reka vodka oh, from Iceland, now this Salerno, is cool. Thank you. blood orange liqueur. And, yeah. And yeah. it's in an oh. ice. Yes. How do you make that? It comes in a oh, little oh. mold. Oh, right. <laughs> you, got, you got a hold. You got, you got a hold. hold. Right. Yeah, right. right. That's a little pathetic, isn't it? Um. Yeah, well, we are, we are going to be honoring a restaurant um, or bar for innovation at yeah, the Apres Key Cocktail nice. Classic. And this is a great example. If you live near a Bonefish Grill, you can actually get that Ooh, in Oh, I love Bonefish. Really? Then, yeah, it comes in an ice glass like that. Now, okay, I have right. to ask you, you can make these non-alcoholic versions as well? Uh, for the most part, yes, you can. Okay. You mean you got to have like fresh blood oranges and fresh lemons. But there's no non-alcoholic gin that you're aware of. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, no. Kim Mastery, thank you very much. These all look awesome.